don't engage alone. We do this together. <laughs> Somebody clip this one. Welcome to Comics League. I am Jared, and today I'm going to talk about something very interesting. All right. So I was going to talk about is this, so th this is how serendipitous everything is. I was going to talk about my problems with James Gunn's DCU originally. Then the suit gets revealed, and I'm like. What is this? Oh boy, more problems. So here's the thing. My problem with it, and I'm going to start with number one with the DCU. It seems to be all talk. Here's how I know that because Gunn made this big deal of talking about pre uh, since the movie was announced, since it was announced, he was writing it. that we return to classic Superman. It's going to return to that basically Christopher Reeve Superman. And I'm like, okay, let me see what this looks like. Then he reveals the suit. And the problem with the suit is that, yes, it's an homage to New 52. And as a fan of the New 52, I do appreciate that. The problem with it is that it doesn't fit him. And again, I'll have a picture of the suit on the screen right now. And then you can see there's like, severe like folds in the suit that make it seem like it's th this was a horrible pose to pick for the suit because if you do this it's it of course you, you're gonna see everything all wrinkled it's gonna make the suit look like it doesn't fit him but you could have done is had him with his arms like this had him with his arms on his hips the superman pose that you think of when you think of superman apparently that was too much the next problem is again with the suit too much armor and here's the problem with this. This is what happens when you take an MCU director and bring him in and bring a, and bring him to DC because he starts to apply a lot of the same principles in the MCU. Because here's what here's what happened. Guardians and, and the characters have like that leathery armor feel, particularly in the classic and like the classic suits used in Guardians 3, which is fine. It works for them 110%. The problem is he brought that over to Superman and you can't like militarize Superman. That's like the because here's the thing: this literally looks like you took the Captain America suit and put a cape on it. That's what it looks like, and that doesn't work for Superman. Literally, what you could have done. Here's how I know this: fan art already exists of this. You could have taken the classic Superman suit. I'm not even talking about taking out the trunks because that's like really inconsequential at, at, at this point. Just take the suit, take the classic suit straight from the comics, put a little texture on it. If you don't want it to look like spandex, you want to modernize it that way. You're done. You don't have to put all this padding because the padding also is the problem with it, it, it looking loose. I mean, Tyler Hecklin had this problem that, when, like, in Superman and Lois, in, like, season one or so, when he would do this, l like, to lift something, his armor would, like, bunch against here because you know that, that like, this is, like, muscle padding. You know it's bad when the CW looks better. Next up is the marketing sucks. And here's how, here's the, here's the thing. Because... I'm going to use this as a perfect example. So there was a... So Gunn has said that anything that doesn't come out of myself or Peter Safran's f mouth uh, on Twitter accounts, don't believe. Okay, here's the problem with that. He responds to literally every, every theory. And I'm like, you know that this is what fans are going to do. You've worked in this industry for so long. Why are you discouraging this? It, it It's part of helping the brand grow. But then, so my time to shine posted 
basically the Fortnite Superman suit and said, I'm hearing that the Superman legacy suit is going to be basically this. And, and for those of you that don't know, and, and again, I'll have the Fortnite suit on the screen right now. It's basically the new 52 suit with the trunks, which, okay, fine. But then Gunn posted below that like an annoyed face, like he was refuting it. And then this happens and it's literally that suit. So I'm like, I don't want to say you lied, but something doesn't add up here. Then the fact, I mentioned it's MCUifying Superman because again, the, the same costuming principles don't work with DC. Because D, here's the thing about Marvel versus DC. I can't really have to explain this. So Marvel is traditionally the more grounded, realistic superhero like universe that's why you have a lot of characters with body armor like captain america where with dc it's meant to be like the gods amongst men these are supposed to be god like characters like superman superman does not need padding and or armor i'm sorry he just doesn't and you gave him padding and armor and here's the thing the fan base is not happy about it because uh, again uh, if it were a faithful adaptation of the new fifth, I'd be fine with that. But then you also put in the Kingdom Come S, which I guess is a style choice. That's fine. Problem with that is that's not traditionally like linked to a younger Superman. But I don't. But you could say people don't care. Point is, it's really the the body armor ness that I don't like about the suit because again, like I said before in the video, it scrunches the armor up, and and that's partly why there are all these like insane folds in the armor that make it look like it doesn't fit him. And it's not like Corn Sweat isn't bulked up enough to fit in a Superman suit. He bulked up for the role. So what is going on here? But that's just, those are my four points on this because I'm looking at this and I'm like, uh, so you already sort of flunked the suit reveal, which, okay, now you're going into this with a, with a contra, uh, I'm not going to say a, a wholly negative perception because there are people that like the suit. What I'm going to say is that it's a controversial one. Let's say that it's a controversial perception. If that teaser trailer or regular trailer comes out and it doesn't wow people, I am going to severely doubt this movie's ability to be a monetary success. Because that that'll because if you screw the audience twice or three times, they're done. That's what kind of happened with the Flash. That's what happened with all these other movies, and look what happened to them. That's what happened to Black Adam. Look what happened to it. So those are just my two cents on it. L let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please be civil. I'll respond to you if you're civil. I'll respect you if you respect me. I. I I shouldn't have to say that, but this is the internet. But stay here, work, everyone. Consider becoming a member because if you're a member, you get these the day before they normally come out. And you also get great perks like members only like panels and live streams and such. We have a great time there. And you get access to my reading log where basically every month I go to my comic book store, I pick up some comics and, and obviously I read them. And then I, I give you a little write up at the end of the month of all the books I read, if I enjoyed them and such. So stay heroic, everyone. Lois Lane is Lois Lame. She belongs to General Zod. Zoe's a max about for life. See you later.